With Frida's return to the public last week, I thought it would be nice to continue our series of ABBA in film with Frida's movie roles. Last time we explored Agneta's one and only film from 1983. Today we will go back in time and dive into the four films in which Frida participated over the years. Her roles couldn't be more different from each other. She played a housewife, a princess, a secretary and even a fairy with the help of her voice. Hey, hey! So, in 1977, all four members of ABBA became movie stars in their one and only feature film, ABBA the Movie. ABBA was at the peak of their career and they would still be on a peak two years later. As so often, with all the success and projects, ABBA was always busy with many other things. 1979 was one of those years. Apart from recording and releasing ABBA's sixth album, Voulez Vous, they also had preparations, rehearsals and concerts for their second world tour. And yet, they were occupied with a variety of side projects in 1979. Agneta wrote and recorded solo songs again. I'm Still Alive was co-written with Björn and performed on that upcoming concert tour of ABBA. Another song, The Queen of Hearts, the Swedish version was released on a brand new compilation, which Agneta released in early 1979. In the summer, ABBA even found time to write and record a birthday song for their secretary, now manager, Jörl. Benny produced an album for Norwegian singer Finn Kalvik. On this album, Agneta and Frida sang backing vocals. And also in 1979, Frida traveled to Spain to act in a feature film. The Swedish film, with the title Walk on Water If You Can, was set in Argentina but filmed on location in Spain. It was directed by Stig Björkman, who also made documentaries about Swedish film director Ingmar Bergman and about Swedish movie star Ingrid Bergman. In Walk on Water If You Can, Frida played the part of housewife Anna. Her character is abandoned by her husband in favor of another girl. It's unbelievable. Frida's character is supposed to be quite bored, and that's what Frida played. Do I feel better? Oh, yeah. It's not an infection or a virus. It's quite common here. Most Swedes who come here get it. But you don't have to be worried. Just try to find a doctor as soon as possible. It feels so bad to live in this house. You don't have to take it so. På många sätt så var vi redan skilda när du kom. Det som var bra en gång mellan oss, det, det tog slut. På sätt och vis så har du faktiskt gjort mig en tjänst. Frida's role is very small and only appears after 55 minutes into the film and for less than three minutes. Even though her role is so limited and the character she plays is supposed to be bored and abandoned by her husband, somehow Frida radiates so much dignity into the character. Frida said this about the film. I was very pleased to appear in a truly dramatic film. When I heard that the film was being produced by the Swedish Film Institute, I asked for a part. Although it's a small part, I feel it could lead to better things, but I have no intention of abandoning my singing career. I enjoyed the break from ABBA, but I'd never forsake the group for a film career. Frida stayed true to her intentions and continued to focus on music and on ABBA. When the film premiered in Sweden in September 1979, Frida was performing on stage in Seattle with ABBA on their world tour of North America and Europe. Four years later, in 1983, ABBA had gradually drifted apart and went into their infamous break. Frida had released her third solo album the year before, her first solo album in English, Something's Going On. Music continued to be her priority and yet she returned to the movie scene in 1983 even with two projects. And this time, Frida mixed the filming with music. Abba Cadabra was a French children's musical based on Abba's songs. Frida recorded the song Bell, based on Abba's choral song Arrival. On this channel, you will find a dedicated episode about the entire project of Abba Cadabra. It started as a French film for television and continued as a musical adaptation. For the French television film, Frida played the princess role of La Belle, Sleeping Beauty. It is basically only a musical sequence with a song playing and with no dialogue. The sequence was filmed in the summer of 1983 at the historic French castle Ousay, the castle which was the inspiration for the story of Sleeping Beauty by the French author Charles Perrault. 
The film was broadcast in December 1983 for Christmas season. In the same summer, Frida acted in another film for television and once again she completely changed her role and style. Joker Face was a comedy film consisting of five sketches. Frida showed her sense of humor in the final part of the film. She plays the role of secretary Louise, who is also the lover of a wealthy factory manager. I know you've been focusing on Frida, but if you thought the man looked familiar, this happens to be the same actor who played the teacher in Abba's video for When I Kissed the Teacher in 1976, famous Swedish comedy actor Magnus Herrenstam. Frida said about the film, I find this part much better, it has more character. I've been offered parts before which I've turned down, but it felt right this time. Magnus is a fine actor. And once again, Frida also mixed music into the project. In one of the scenes, we can hear her sing Happy Birthday on the phone. Happy birthday to you. Of all places, this film was filmed in Ikeru, the same place where Agneta would move at the end of the 1980s and where she has been living until this day. Joker Face had its premiere in February 1984, when Frida was already busy preparing and recording her second album in English, Shine. The film was also released on VHS video cassette. In the following years, Frida started to take a few steps back from public activities and her life priorities changed. We are a rock around a sun. She returned to music in the 1990s, but one of her main priorities became to be an advocate for environmental themes. This is reflected in her fourth and final role for a feature film from 1992. This time, Frida changed her style one more time and became the voice actor in an animated film from Australia. For the Swedish version of Fern Gully, The Last Rainforest, Frida gave her voice to the fairy Magi Loon. The film itself is a musical fantasy with environmental themes about the destruction of the rainforests. Unfortunately, I have never seen this film nor any clips online. And again, it's only on the Swedish language version on which Frida voiced this character. According to ABBA on TV.com, Frida and her character is the first one you see and hear in the film and her voice sounded slightly sped up. So these are the four movies in which Frida played between 1979 and 1992. All of them small appearances, but it seems to me that Frida always chose wisely what she wanted to play and how to use her voice and personality. Coming up is one of the most fascinating chapters, the lost African movie, which brings us back to 1967 and Benny's adventures in Kenya, trying to make a feature film with his band The Hapstars. Once again, all of these standalone episodes will then be combined into an entire look back at ABBA in film. I hope you enjoyed today's journey through time, exploring Frida's movie roles from 1979 to 1992, also in context with her musical career with ABBA and Solo. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, until then, hey do!